I will not forget. I think I've said this the last time I was here. In 1995, our Papa, Papa Ayo came to Josh for Reverend Joshua Talina. 95. I came out of school to attend the conference. And people of God, Papa was preaching, was preaching. As a young Christian then, I didn't understand much what he was preaching. At a point, he removed his shoe and began to bless. People of God, something pulled me from the congregation. You can imagine how small I was in 1995 when he came to just and, uh, uh, and uh, I don't know whether it's fortunately or unfortunately, I had my school fees with me. I will not forget. Was something moved me from the congregation, and then he was asking people to sew. He was on a bare foot then. I ran from the back, dropped my school fees on his feet. And then I remember vividly, 18 years ago, he laid his hands on my head and I declared greatness will pursue you. I will not forget that statement. In 1995 by 96, I went to Gombe State and I enforced the prophecy. By 97, I began a church. I speak to you today in Gombe State. My church is the biggest standing Pentecostal church by the enforcement of prophecy. Like the book high. After that encounter every year, I have gone to Uyo. We are Papa Yes, for Dr. Ebel once in the year and I ensure that every year I go to Uyo his hands comes upon my life what he said in 95 I am today let the devil go to hell can I talk to somebody here wherever you are under the sound of my voice by the same unction 23 days from today your prophecy will come to pass your prophecy will come to pass your prophecy will come to pass. Your prophecy will come to pass. Let me hear that amen like a believer. Say, I hear, I hear, I hear, I hear, I hear. Enforcing your prophecy for recovery. If it is not enforced, it will be hijacked by principalities and powers. <laughs> Are you aware? Why Daniel made an attempt to bring prophecy into fulfillment? The prince of Persia. My brother, every city has a principality. Every community has a principality. Every nation has a principality. Paul speaking about the principality of Ephesus. He said, I fought with the beast of Ephesus. Speaking in 2 Thessalonians. He said, I desire to come unto you again and again. But the devil hindered us. My friend. There are devils that hinder prophecy. There are powers that hinder prophecy. They swallow prophecy like the fish swallows Jonah. Am I talking to somebody here? If you do nothing about it, it will hang until you die. If you do nothing about it, the year will pass. And it will pass like every other year without a difference and a testimony. There are powers that fought prophecy. There are powers I didn't know. When I entered Gombe to do ministry, then back then, so many Pentecostal manifestations were strange to people of Gombe. I was resisted by the powers that be in the city. But ladies and gentlemen, I understand that prophecies are weapons for war, effective weapons for war. I'm telling you the truth. When you lay hold on prophecy, you can humble Satan anywhere you find him. When you lay hold on prophecy, you can deal with principalities anywhere they appear. That is why in a short while from now, you will locate that prophecy that is still hanging. And I speak by the God I serve, it will come to pass before December 31st. Say, I hear, I hear, I hear, I hear, I hear. If you allow it, it will make you beg like they are begging in worry. With all the oil company, you won't see one oil in your bucket. With all the money passing around, you'll be begging to eat. If you don't enforce it, you will make your business a sleeping center. Customers are going elsewhere. If you don't enforce it, you will carry your beautiful face and your figure eight and your catwalk and you will have no husband. I'm telling you the truth. It has. Listen, getting a job is beyond qualification. Getting married is beyond beauty. It is as a result of the enforcement of prophecy. Can I talk to somebody here? I'm telling you the truth. My under, you need to enforce it. My Search your Bible. The Bible speaking said when Jesus was born. In the book of Luke chapter number 2 thereabout. I like what Samuel, Simon said. He said I have waited until my eyes saw 
the manifestation of what is prophesied to Israel. Are you aware that in the place of battle you can suspend the end of December until you see your prophecy? Oh my God. Oh my God. Christmas is not permitted to come until God provides what you should celebrate Christmas with. Can I talk to somebody here? December 31st is not permitted to come until you can say it's a good year, then we can enter the next year. Can I talk to somebody here? January 1st is not permitted to come until my victory is given to me, until my prophecy is manifested, until my desire is granted. Can I talk to somebody here? I stand here by the name of God. I speak to a man, I speak to a woman, I speak to a boy, I speak to a girl. Listen. Receive your prophecy. Receive your prophecy. Receive your prophecy. Let me hear that amen like a thunder. Here, 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 here. I wish I have time. I would have proven to you that at the 400 year before God they were free. In reality, they were slaves. Before God. They were great men. Before God, they were great women. But in reality, they were begging, they were borrowing, they were still slaves. Until you enforce prophecy, God's impression for your life will be different from your manifestation on the earth. You will look so different from what God intends. You will look so opposite from what God vision for your life is. It is the enforcement of prophecy that reconcile your physical condition to heaven's expectation. Can I talk to somebody here? Can I talk to anybody here? It is in the enforcement of your prophecy that you reconcile your earthly condition with heaven's expectation. Otherwise, in heaven they will say, thou are a great man mighty man of valor and you'll be arguing like Gideon if I am mighty what is mighty about me here if I am mighty what is great about me here word of life hear me by the name that covers this ministry your status will be reconciled by prophecy slap your neighbor say I am more than this touch another neighbor say I am more than this touch another neighbor say I am more than this say here 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 in the enforcement of your prophecy without enforcement your prophecy will be swallowed by wicked men and wicked women are you aware <laughs> that even when god knew israel was lit and moses was dispatched pharaoh was in resistance <laughs> there are men that have vowed that that prophecy will hang until you hang yourself there are people that have vowed that the prophecy about you having a child will not happen in that husband's house. There are people that have vowed that the prophecy of financial abundance will not pass through your hands. Are you aware? In my few years of as a pastor, I have only come to realize that the devil is evil, but men are wicked. The entire world is covered in wickedness. Have respect unto your covenant, for the dark places of the earth is full of the habitation of clarity. I thought that the resistance of Pharaoh was an executive resistance only for me to discover that when the magicians came out, it was a diabolic resistance. It was not an executive resistance. It was a diabolic resistance. Magicians were enchanting for Pharaoh to say no going out. Nobody is leaving Egypt. God said it, you won't see it. God prophesied it, you won't experience it. Magicians were enchanting. It took power from Moses to bring them out. Listen to this, whether you agree with me or not. I don't know about your religious philosophy, but I know that there is somebody somewhere that doesn't want to see your prophecy come to pass. I know that there is somebody somewhere that by enchantment, by divination, by sorcery, by occultic manipulation, by sacrifices, does not want your prophecy to come to pass. They could be your neighbors, they could be your family members, but ladies and gentlemen, the Bible said as the Red Sea swallow fail and every army resistant, I prophesy to you, after this morning service, every resistance shall be swallowed. Every 
Every resistance shall be swallowed. Every resistance shall be swallowed. Let me hear that amen like I believe. Every man, every woman that has come to any altar to ensure your prophecy is not fulfilled. I stand on this altar as a servant of God and I break their work. Anybody that has sacrificed to ensure your prophecy does not come to pass. By the sacrifice of the blood of Jesus, I swallow their sacrifice. Anybody that has beat his chest and said, let me see how you will become. I hit this altar and I declare before their eyes your prophecy shall be fulfilled. 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 Somebody lift up your hand and shut fire. Shake your body and shut fire. Lift your leg and shut fire. In 11 months, you have been patient, waiting for the fulfillment of prophecy. In these 23 days, less than a month, you will no longer be patient. Anybody that say over his dead body, for you to become what God wants you to be. Anybody that bury charm anywhere, and say over his dead body, for you to have your prophecy fulfilled. I declare, before December, we bury them. 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 Let me hear that amen like a thunder. 